Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today I am going to discuss a new lecture of DevOps series that is lecture number 20. The agenda of this lecture is we will do a DevOps project for CI CD. Here in this project we will use Git, GitHub, Jenkins and Ansible. This is a very important video. This is first project which I am going to do here. We'll do a live like project. Please watch the complete video for better understanding. And I am sure you can easily understand after watching this complete video and the concept of CI CD will be crystal clear for you. Here the scenario of the project. So we have four servers. One is the developer server where Git need to be installed to clone and push the file into github there is another server called jenkins server we will install the git in jenkins server as well to integrate with the github there will be another server called ansible so here in this server to deploy the application through jenkins and then ansible server and jenkins are connected via the ssh there is the ssh connectivity there is another server called web server to browse the output for application so jenkins ansible is connected with ssh also uh, ansible is connected with the web server via ssh okay and here we will install the git to integrate with the git, github account and in the developer server obviously we need to install the git to push the push or clone the code developed code basically so all four servers along with githubs are needed to integrate with each other for ci cd here in devs uh, server developers write a source code then commit and push into the github the jenkins then checks the repository and pull the newly changed code at regular interval then build the code and copy into the ansible finally ansible will deploy into the web server the web server is the final destination so here are the some high level steps which i have mentioned in this slide so either you can use in a sequence or you can uh, first create the uh, git, github account and then ready the servers or put the ssh connective whatever the uh, whatever you want you whatever you want you can do up to uh, it's up to you if you want you can follow the sequence as well so this is the high level basically high level steps which i have mentioned so without any delaying let's say start now so first we will create all four servers from the aws console so this this is the aws console so we will click over here the ec2 is click on launch so we'll take a four servers so put over here four we'll write a name later okay. so key pair i have already created so this key network setting we need to add it as well because we will uh, take all traffic and then anywhere so now launch so this is the four servers which i have created it will take time so meanwhile i can update the um, put the name over there okay so the first server it is a jenkins server i mentioned i'll mention the jenkins server and Sybil. server put this one is the web server and this is the dev server okay so meanwhile we can keep ready the serve all servers i have a terminal for this so the first terminal is this one so let's connect ssh hype iphone i jenkins key dot pm ac2 user at the rate of jenkins are the first we are ready keep the ready for jenkins server it is still initializing 
we will do in a sequence so that uh, otherwise we will be in trouble to understand so let's do in a sequence first we will keep ready to Jenkins server then Ansible then web server and dev server yeah so all are ready now so first we will uh, keep ready for Jenkins server so now Jenkins I have already copied yes yes so now sudo su okay so let's change the name rather than putting the ip address over here i will set the jenkins name okay so how we will do that we will do host name ctl command is this host name ctl set host name jenkins okay so you need to exit first and then again you go to uh, sudo i mean root user so it is now showing jenkins okay so just for the understanding purpose okay so i have just rather than uh, putting the ip address just i have set the server name host name basically jenkins okay so this is the jenkins similarly do for the ansible as well public ip sudo su and then hostname ctl set hostname ansible now you exit and then again look come back to root user so it is showing ansible okay so similarly we will do here as well in the web server this is not the private IP, public IP of the whole West web server. So let's copy that one. This one. You can't remember with the IP address. So that's why I'm just setting the host name. Yeah. Host name CTL set host name web server that's it so this is the web server right okay let's keep ready for the dev server as well So all four servers are now ready, okay. I mean, uh, I have not installed yet, but yeah, I have just uh, put the name over there, host name. This is the Jenkins one, and this is the Ansible. This is the web server, and this one is the development server, so dev server, okay. So what we will do, we will install everything over there. So in the Jenkins server, we will install the Jenkins, but you know very well, before inst installing the Jenkins, we have to install the Java, but Java will be the higher version, Open JDK 11 should be there, okay. However, before installing this any software, you need to update over there. So before installing any new software, it is important to ensure that you, your existing operating version, uh, version is up to date, okay, if any file missing. Uh, then it will update automatically. What we will do yum update hyphen y. It will update if any file is required to update. Yeah, so it's updating now. I am updating of all servers. Yum update hyphen y. let's check it is updated yes 
this one is updated now so Jenkins is updated so let's install Amazon iPhone Linux iPhone X Plus install Java open JDK 11 Amazon Linux extras install Java open JDK so let's install now so open JDK is now installed okay so now we will install the Jenkins so how we will do that go to the browser and just download the Jenkins file from from his official site okay just copy and execute over here similarly copy this one then we will install the Jenkins So it is installing now okay meanwhile uh, just to save our time so we will install the ansible as well so for installing the ansible you know that how to install we will install first uh, apl release so yum install apple release it is asking something like just copy this one and execute this so Apple provide the easy access to install commonly used package on CentOS. So that's why we are installing. Our next step is to install the Ansible. Okay, yum install Ansible iPhone Y. Please watch the carefully what I am doing over here. Okay, otherwise you will miss and you will not able to complete this one. So Ansible is now installed. Just check Ansible. Yes, this is installed now. 2.9.27. So Ansible is installed. Okay. Yes, Jenkins is also completed. It is installed now. So for Jenkins, we will start the service. Okay. So system CTL start Jenkins. This is web server, so we need to install the Apache. Okay. So yum install HTTPD hyphen Y. Apache is installed now, so we have to start the Apache service as well. System CTL start HTTP. Just check whether it is running or not. So we will check the status. Status it is running now. Apache is now running. HTTPS. Okay. So Apache we have uh, installed the uh, web server and Ansible is also installed. Jenkins is also now running. So in, in, enable it also in, enable also system CTL enable Jenkins. Okay. So we can now go to browser. Okay, and put the public IP of Jenkins. Put by default, you know very well. I have already explained in details of previous slides. I am in the Jenkins server, so that's why I will, I will 
open i will just cat and get the key over here password basically administrative password So getting started now. So there are a couple of plugins that uh, I mean many plugins that need to that will install. Okay, so it will take time probably. So meanwhile, uh, we have installed the Jenkins, we have installed the Ansible, we have installed the Apache as well, and everything is running. Okay, so as I told, if you remember that, I told Jenkins is I mean we will install the Git over here in the development server because the uh, developer will push and clone the code uh, into the uh, github github account okay so that's why we require we need to install the git as well and here also we need to install the git so let's install the git on jenkins as well as in the dev server okay so here in the jenkins just here install git hyphen y if you don't install then you will not able to integrate with the github account okay so git is installed in the jenkins server we will install the git in the dev server as well yum install git hyphen y okay so git is also installed right git is installed over here okay so now we will do the ssh connectivity okay ssh connectivity between the jenkins and ansible as well as ssh connectivity between the ansible to destination server destination server is nothing but our web server okay so we will generate a ssh key we will transfer over here and here we will also generate the key to transfer the in the web server okay so let's do that check where are we now it is also still installing so in the jenkins server we are in the dev server now okay that is why i have put it over here you can't remember with the ip address so this you can identify easily you are in which server so it is in dev server i am in dev server so i will not do anything over here we'll do later but here in the web server uh, yes what I will do I will just put the root password first okay so PA password root okay so authentication is now done and one more thing just go to VI editor slash etc slash ssh ssh d underscore config okay what we will do over here we will um, uncomment the permit root login because we are given the permission over here okay and one more thing you need to just put over here password authentication yes okay so just save it so we have done now so we will start the service for ssh so system ctl restart ssh d so it is it is now started okay so similarly we will do the password root password over here as well so pass wd root asking the password name confirm in the password name as well so password name is also successfully updated okay so here as well uh, we will do the same activity vi slash etc slash ssh slash underscore config uncomment the root per, uh, permit root login yes and then password password authentication will be yes save it 
system ctl or the start sshd so it is it is started now okay if you want you can check it system ctl status ssd you can check it okay just for confirmation it is running the ssh service is running okay so in cbel we have done the password authentication here as well we will do the in jenkin also okay so root so here also done similarly do the same activity over here as well vi slash etc slash ssh slash ssh d underscore config password authentication yes okay so save i have saved now right okay so start this as well system ctl so now what we will do we will do the ssh con con uh, connectivity so we will create a ssh key over here and then ansible okay so first we will create over here ssh key gen all these things i have already explained in my linux command in the second second probably second video okay so now copy it ssh hyphen copy and from id root at the rate of private ip of the ansible because we are doing the connectivity between the jenkins and ansible so ssh connectivity and it will not ask the password during the auto generation okay when the developer push the code into the github account it will automatically uh, run everything okay and they will not ask the password what kind of password so that's why we are doing the passwordless connectivity okay so what we will do we will do the here jenkins is also ready let's put that password and everything over here okay so our jenkins is ready okay so first what we will do we will just copy the private ip and put over here it will first time it will ask the password okay right so now it is it has been authentication the, what does it mean it means that we are able to connect from jenkins to ansible how can how we will confirm just ssh it and just uh, root and then the ansible private ip i am able to connect with the ansible as well right so i have generated the ssh key and it will it is not asking the password is a passwordless connectivity so i was in the jenkins server and from the jenkins server i am able to connect with ansible server right so just simply doing the ssh so similarly we will do for uh, in ansible server as well to connect with the web server that is destination server okay so first i will exit from here so i am in the jenkins server right now okay so go to the ansible server and do same thing over here as well right ssh key gen okay ssh copy id hyphen i and then root at the rate of private ip of the web server okay 
yes have the password so I am able to let's see whether I am able to connect from Ansible to web server yes so this is a web server okay from Ansible server I am able to connect the web server as well through SSH right so now the password passwordless uh, connectivity is established okay from Jenkins to Ansible and Ansible to web server right okay now in the Ansible server what we will do we will uh, put the IP, private IP of web server in uh, in the inventory file okay so go to the inventory file slash etc and you know very well in the, what is the inventory file and how we set in the Ansible video I have explained in details if you have still any doubt go to that video and watch over there Ansible and then host host okay name web server web server okay I'll put the private IP of the web server okay so now save it so done now we are now completed the SSH connectivity and what next we will integrate the github with Jenkins okay so let's go to github account i have a github account i've already lo logged in so i will create a new repository over here so just create a new repository and the put the repository name put the particular specific name first demo oh yeah first demo is fine right first demo and then it is a public one and just create a repository right create a new file okay so now put the file name index.html index.html and just write one line hi okay and just save it so we have saved the file okay so uh, this is the first uh, uh, this is the repository okay first demo so we will integrate with Jenkins okay so we will go to the Jenkins server as well create a demo project demo project select the file style project type okay right so now we will use the source code management so git okay so git repository URL we will put over here just copy this URL Yes, it is, it is not required for credential. If you put private, then you have to provide the credential as well. Okay, so just apply this one. So our Jenkins has been integrated. Okay, so I mean Jenkins now integrated with the GitHub, right? But still we have a lot more work. Okay, so what we will do, just keep over here at this in this moment, same. Okay go back to the dashboard and just you need to install the public over ssh plugin otherwise it will not work so you have to go to the manage jenkin okay and manage plugin just check the available plugin and put over here ssh ssh okay so public over ssh certain plugins is required which is mandatory that installed during the configuration okay but this one is not installed so you have to install this one because you are doing that SSH okay so public over SSH you have to install so just uh, check over here this one public over SSH and install without restart so it is installing now but I always recommend it to restart after installing very important video watch carefully what I am doing here this will definitely help you guys yeah so now again go to the manage Jenkins and then the configuration configuration system so here it will show the public over SSH here the SSH server earlier it was not there so I have installed the plugin then it comes okay SSH server so we will add SSH servers SSH Jenkins we are doing the SSH from Jenkins and we are doing the SSH from Ansible as well so these two servers we need to add over here 
so just put the Jenkins host name is the private host name a private IP so private IP of the Jenkins just copy and put over here username is root okay and then password I will click over here in advance then it will ask the password use password authentication as I have already given the password right so put the password over here and just check the test configuration it should be success yes it is now done right similarly add for the ansible server as well let's apply first so add for ansible as well host name private ip of ansible remember it we will in copy the private ip not public ip and then root name is, uh, sorry username is root and similarly we'll go in advance and use the password because we have set the password for authentication and just check the test connectivity configuration is a success so both now ansible and jenkins is configured over here right okay so now we will go in the project okay and then configuration so we have already config uh, can integrate them with github so it's not required we are in the master branch so that is fine okay so build trigger we will keep it as it is built environment we will not do anything here we will build the steps okay build steps so what we are doing we will build it whenever the uh, developer will push the code and that will be built in the Jenkins server so what we will do we will just select the send file execute command over SSH we just click over here and we'll do the build in Jenkins not Ansible okay so we'll select one. see basically I have entered in the configuration part so that's why these two are showing okay so just select this Jenkins and execution command so what I will do over here we will rsync over here okay so just put the rsync hyphen avh I'll let you know what is avh so let me complete first okay slash var slash leave slash Jenkins workspace so when the project you uh, build it then a workspace automatically uh, generate a folder and shown just let me see show you here cd slash var slash lib slash jenkins okay so just check what all the files are there and folders are there okay so here you can see it's, uh, it is not there right so when you build it when you start building it will automatically create a, a folder over here that is workspace so that's why i have uh, put it over here workspace and then the project name whatever the project name i have mentioned demo project so under this folder it will create a demo project okay so demo project or what is the project name is it demo project or first project no it's a demo project right and then slash star dot html so i'm using the html file so that's why i put it in html what i will what i'm doing here rsync abh a means enable the archive mode hyphen a and hyphen b means it's a uh, output that shows the progress of the processes and h is nothing but a human readable format okay so rsync command basically uh, is used to transfer and synchronizes the files or directory efficiently between the one machine to other machine so from jenkins to ansible okay so i am just transferring the file the file is built in the jenkins server right 
so once the build file when once the code is built that comes in in terms of file so this file will transfer into the ansible server and that ansible server will deploy into the web server here i am just asking over here so whatever the files are coming in this uh, path put into the host i mean ansible host right so private ip of the ansible colon slash there is a folder called opt and here in this opt folder keep the file under the opt folder so index dot html right so this is what the uh, execution command so if what it will do again i am telling you just it will rsync from this path of this file whatever the file over here it will come into the this folder of this machine under the opt this file over here i will write a playbook as well so that it will be crystal clear for you right so now apply okay so uh, this is this is the build uh, build section when i am doing the build okay build steps okay so once the build is completed then it transferred into the uh, ansible server so ansible server what he will do post build action what he will do he will just uh, send uh, send the send build artif artifact over ssh it will ssh to web server okay so this is the ansible server okay so what he will do it will execute the command ansible ansible hyphen playbook i will write a playbook as well playbook and then from this folder source s o u r c source code hyphen deployment dot y m l i will keep the name deployment dot y m l deployment dot y m l right so it will execute the this playbook ansible playbook this is a command basically execute this one which is available under the source code right so i need to create a folder as well mk dir slash source code okay so go to the source code source code and then you write a playbook over here so i will show you how we first you will complete this one okay so now this is completed fine so we have done this so what we will do we will write a playbook over here okay vi deployment dot yml right so just write a code i think i have written a code over here so let me save our time so just copy this one okay so here what he will do it will indentation should be clear okay otherwise it will give the error it will pick the file from the source and push into the destination source means it uh, yeah uh, from the source and push into the destination source is what ansible okay ansible source code we have uh, uh, ansible source code we have written over there and this is the uh, path where the uh, I, have, i have asked to rsync in this folder this file okay i have given the file name index.html and then put the in the destination destination is slash var slash ww slash etc so this is the our web server okay cd slash var Slash www slash html. So path yes. Okay, currently no, no there is a no single file over here in this path. Okay, so here what I am telling, I am what I am telling over here. He pick the file from the source and push into the destination. So destination is our web server. Okay, and the task is. copy source file source file is this one okay and this is the destination okay so playbook i have also written finally go to github github account and here 
See, basically, I want to do everything automatically, right? Go to dashboard and just copy this one. Okay. And setting, go to setting, go to web, web hook and add web hook. Put over here, then slash github fun web hook slash. Okay. Select this one. Okay. And the secret is also we need to go via the, this one. So go to this username and then config so it will ask api token we will add the new token generate the token copy it and then just add over here right simply add webhook so webhook is added it should be clear so let me reference this one yes it is okay so webhook set I have done now and uh, just go to dashboard and then go to config over here so what I will do I will select the yes build trigger so github trigger for git sm pulling for git sm is I need to click this one Okay, so what 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 it will happen? It will automatically uh, send the file. It will automatically send. The, I mean, developer just uh, simply the code into the GitHub and GitHub uh, Jenkins automatically pick this one and uh, transfer into the Ansible and then Ansible will deploy automatically. So everything will be automatically. Otherwise, it will not. You have to do manually. You have to build the map manually. So it will build automatically, right? So just apply and save okay so everything is now ready so first time what we will do let's first build manually it is building now yes so it is now successfully built so what i have written the code high right it's a success now okay so just go to the web server private uh, public ip of web server and go to the new browser and paste over there it will show the high i i have written okay now important thing is that if i have done it manually but whenever the developer push the code it should automatically build and deploy and it should it, it will change over here output will change over here right so just go to here in the dev box okay so we will clone it git clone and then copy the url of this data The first project it has come now. So index.file now it is showing over here. And it was nothing over here, right? So now I will just write a code index.html. I'll change this code. Okay, the requirement is I will do the HTML file. Right. Do we have HTML code over here? Don't think. No. Let let's write the HTML code. So just write HTML. Head. Title. What we will do HTML body BG color attribute hit close. Okay, now we write body body. Text is equal to 
put in black color black bg background color is equal to put over here pink all right now just put in center center and then br I've given the six time one two three four five it will come down so that's why I have given the br br okay <clears throat> h1 i on h1 complete next put on h2 or you can put br as well over here so that would be anyway let it be don't waste our time right okay center yes close center and then close the body close the HTML yeah so let's save it okay so I have just uh, updated the uh, index.html okay so it's a requirement now it is so it's a just requirement new requirement came and developer has developed for with using the html okay so what we will do we will developer will push the code into the github so first he will add add that word git add and then commit git commit hyphen m uh, just put a message any message updated new any put any message nothing else okay and index dot html right so it will ask to set the password and your username and something like that email id and your name so let's set it otherwise it will ask multiple times Similarly, do for the name as well. Zafar Khan. Okay. So commit once again. F1. Index. Start. HTML. So it is now committed. Okay. One line deletion. Now deletion. And then insertion. Fine. It is now committed. So I will push it over there. So git push i find you f origin and master okay so it will ask the password but password has been removed so you have you need to generate an authentication key generation so i have already generated it will i have that one so let me copy this one this one I have already generated I'll I'll prepare as a separate video for this how to generate this authentication so just enter it will ask paste over here and then again oh yes so this is now generated so let's check on the browser this is your browser and one more thing just check whether it is working fine or not here it is I have not done anything just developer pushed the code into the github it built automatically and deploy it and uh, let's check whether it is deployed or not so here it is 
Hi all, we are, you are watching the YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. So this is what the, the developer has developed and uh, just pushed into the GitHub. Nothing else. Okay, let's do one more. Change is more. I am I'm doing a small changes over here. It was pink color. Now I am putting over green color. Okay. Put green. Okay. And one more command. One more line. I will add over here. I'll just add S three. Please subscribe my channel right close the s3 s3 okay so just save it and do the same over here uh, add and then commit get commit iPhone M and just put F2 or updated on whatever you want you can do that. updated one okay index dot HTML it is added for insertion was there okay and uh, what we'll do just get push origin master <coughs> right here it is again asking the password sorry copy it and just paste over there so it is now pushed master into master so let's check Jenkins it should become third okay yes it is building now automatically nothing else I am not doing anything over here just it I pushed over here and it is done the successfully and one more thing I wanted to show you in the Jenkins path okay just LSE earlier it was workspace was not there so I have so you know that workspace is generated when you build it okay and in this uh, files sorry cd slash opt here it is transferring this file okay and uh, in the web server you are able to see index.html as well okay so everything is happening automatically right and uh, just check in the web server it is built already and deployed also it should be green color and one line also added over here just to refresh it here it is so this is the overall concept of the project uh, what uh, for the ci cd so this all about the devos project which i have done the, the project one for CI CD, when, whenever the developers developed a new code and push into the GitHub, it will automatically run and deploy. This is what the CI CD, CI CD pipeline. We will do lot more project for CI CD in the upcoming video. Okay, we will use the new tools as well. We have just used the Git, Jenkins and Ansible and also GitHub. Okay, but we will also do some more tools as well in the upcoming uh, upcoming project. Okay, so if you have any questions regarding this topic, please feel free to put in the comment section in this article or in this project. I will get back to you at the earliest. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button, please.